Hello, friends. I figured that since Katowice is two days away and we're in the thick of things, I should probably take the time to talk about what behind the scenes look like. It's mostly a stream deck, a Go XLR, my keyboard, and a couple computer screens, and a lot of scripts that I've made. I figured the best way to do this would be to actually go and take it on my phone because I have two screens. It's a little bit hard. But here we are. As you can see, we're not totally done yet. I still have development work ongoing. I don't really even have my screen deck totally done yet. It's on the way. My stream deck is, it's not totally calibrated, but well, actually, no, I do have IEM Katowice, at least in the process. I don't have everything linked just yet because I've been heavy in development mode, but as you can see, it's all run through here. Intros, um, saving of highlights that I will then use elsewhere, things like that. And it's also going to run things like player or group stage fly-ins, ticker fly-in, fly-out, a whole bunch of different stuff. It's get scripted. It's not totally... I know how to do it. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. I've been working on other things like head-to-head, -head, etc. So one thing I can show you is the group stage fly-in, kind of. I'm going to press a button, go really quickly over to my screen, and hopefully it captures it. But if not, it flies in and flies out in the bottom right of the screen. So this is for group A. It flies in. You couldn't really see it fly in, but it's there going to fly out in a second and those will be run every so often throughout the broadcast to say hey this is the status of the group there are four or three broadcasts running make sure to go check that out and i'll be doing stuff for other things we have day end or group end setups the rest of the stuff though is run through a bunch of python scripts on a custom tool that i've made that again pulls from that internal spreadsheet uh things like match results for the round of 32 i don't have that yet for the round of 24, I don't know if it's going to be exposed. We might just only have standings. It's just how it's going to work. But I can show you that. It's publicly available. So this is the bracket for the round of 36. You can see there are just discrete cells where things are. I imported that into a pandas data frame, which is effectively a spreadsheet for Python. And just figured out where they were going to be. So wrote a script that iteratively gives me results from that for all the group stage. Puts that into a text file that I then read into OBS. Uh, the one problem is OBS, well, it reads it as an image. So there's a cap on how long it can go. That's a little bit of a problem. So I won't be able to show all the results, but if you're in the, if you're in the finals of the upper bracket, you don't really care what happened in the round of 16 nearly as much. So some of that gets cut off. I've also made head to head. You can kind of see that here. And there's a, this is a transparency that goes over the basic thing. And I'm still waiting on player images. ESL should give me that tomorrow. But for now, you can see it's Maru versus Rogue in this test. Hopefully, it's a little blurry. And the numbers are individual race matchups, Zerg, Terran, Protoss. Uh, I, use this, I use the results from IEM Kedev. It's a last year for the testing on that one. But I guess the question also is, how does the day go? You know, we start broadcasting at 6 a.m. Well, I'm going to get up around 4.30. Uh, give myself an hour and a half to get ready. We have to push the stream to ESL at... Uh, like 30 minutes prior to broadcast. So that's definitely a last-ditch effort. Uh, stream has to be pushing. We can still do some setup work, but I have to, whatever I'm sending to them has to be in some way, shape, or form production quality. So probably around 5.15, I'm going to hop on a call with Steadfast, make sure his video is fine, uh, make sure his audio is good levels, things like that. Um, make sure my camera's where it needs to be. You can see I've made a little uh, bounding box to make it a little prettier, and it's not quite where it needs to be. The aspect ratio is off. But we're going to be having that for me, for Steadfast, um, and before then, breakfast, whatever. And then once we get that, once we're live, we're pretty much going to be live the entire time. 6 a.m. until 3, 4 p.m. every day of th Wednesday, Thursday, Friday this week. Some power bars yet to be seen. I haven't, I don't have them bought yet, but they'll be sitting on my desk keeping me alive. Uh, I've also been doing other stuff. I've been prepping for groups. These are just my crib notes on group A. I'm not totally done yet. Again, production work has been a thing. But you can see that Rogue is the only Korean player to kill Maru twice in a Grand Finals. He's only lost, I think, three Grand Finals, and Rogue's done two of them. So, a little bit of information, things like that. Snippets I can throw into a broadcast, etc., etc., etc. But also, I'm doing some other stuff. Uh, we're going to be doing player intros are going to be off of one long audio clip, as you can see right here. And that's just going to be on the fader. So... We go into game, audio turns on, I fade it up and down until we're done. It goes off. It's, it's simple, but it's it gives me the most control. I would love to script it, but there's no realistic way to. So 
that's just a VLC thing that I go in. Um, everything else, if, in, in terms of highlights, that's a different process for VLC video player. And I actually have to need to change my script up just a little bit because I'll be saving all those clips to produce end of the day content for uh, for myself. We'll be maybe be showing them on the ESL broadcast. I'm not really sure, but hopefully, yeah, we're gonna do that. So make sure to go check us out, Steadfast and I, Wednesday through Friday. ESL underscore SC2B on Twitch. And if you want to check me out as well, make sure to go check me out on Twitch as well. Twitch.tv slash Beowulf. I stream every Monday, Saturday, EPT Cups. At the very least, North America and Korea, unless PhD stuff drives me around. And then I'll definitely tweet about it. Make sure you know what's up. Thanks for watching, folks. Stay safe.